you a couple who likes to do new things and meet new people and have a great old time? Or are you a couple who really dislike each other, find it hard to raise your six to eight children and wish it would all end? Good. My name's Bridget and I'm here to guide you through the trials and tribulations of marriage. Let's start with a little prayer. Now, even if your husband doesn't love you, remember our Lord does, but not in a let's go to the cinema kind of a way, or in an unbelievable non dairy kind of a way, do you know? Okay. Dear Lord, you are the inventor of people, and you know why my husband is such a moron. Now, a very important part of marriage is relations. Yeah, we've all had a glimpse of Charlie Hawley on the telly or Joan Collins from Dynasty and come over all was my take. Soon the price of bread and oh, Can a man not watch the feel of all Ardesh in his own home without his wife coming in, walking in on him? But it's a miserly 4%. It's going to a break now. Now, you may look at my husband Eamon and think, oh no, I could never have relations with a man like that. He is disgusting. He makes me want to vomit in my own mouth. And you'd be right. But I would say the essentials for any wife's bedside table are the three L's. Lots of whiskey, lots of oil, and lots of value. And to avoid any chance of illness, always protect yourself by making sure the lights are turned off. Oh. Your husband doesn't always know what's best for him, so persistence is key. Bridget, I'm warning you now, take your hand away from there. Bridget! Bridget! Unless you can do a good tree solo impression, take your hand away from... Give me back my underpants. Give me back my underpants. Give me back my underpants. Bridget, give no. me back my underpants. No! Which brings us neatly onto my next point. This is for the men. Husbands. You must always tell your wife that everything she's doing is wrong. You're doing that wrong. You're doing that wrong. Doing that wrong. Without that constant discouragement, I mean, we're liable to lose the run of ourselves as women. We'd be taking cocaine and starting fashion magazines and who would want that? Listening is key to any happy marriage. Not listening is key to any normal marriage. Eamon, I've been thinking about it for a while and I'm going to start a musical society. <sighs> what do you think? I will, yeah. No sugar this time though. And get me one of those Liga yolks. I like dipping it into the tea. Eamon. If you want to call one of the other women to come around and join us tonight, you can. For some, like, mind-blowing, mad, passionate, mental, swinging from the ceiling, sex. Let's do it. I've always been a bit curious. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. You have to get planning permission now if you want to throw up a few hundred houses. Planning shitism. Rome wasn't built in a day. Do you know why? They were waiting on the planning permission. Here, Romulus, throw me up that bucket of stuff. I can't, Ramus. We're waiting on the planning permission. While I was making your tea for the millionth time, I've made a decision. I'm leaving you. I'm going to live with my sister in London. And you can send the kids to live with your mental auntie in Longford. I don't care. What? I said no sugar. And where's the Ligas? Have them kids eaten all the Ligas again? Now it's time for do's and do nots. Do. Do remember that if you're unhappy in your marriage, that coronary heart disease kills one in three men in this country every year. Go like that. Now, eat up, Eamon. Get all that lovely salt and lovely oil into you. Mm -mm -mm. That lovely salt and heart clogging oil. You love it, don't you? Do 
not? Or don't? Do. Bottle up all your emotions. Sure, nothing could go possibly wrong with that. Eamon, sometimes I feel lonely. Good, you deserve it. No one is perfect. Some people are so far, far, far away from perfect. They're like from Donegal to Nays far from perfect and they're probably sitting next to you because you probably married them. So, why get married? Maybe you're three months pregnant. Maybe the only other option you have in your town is your second cousin who was arrested for exposing himself to cattle. That's what I mean, you need to have low expectations. You know, and if you're unhappy, just remember, he's probably very unhappy too. I'm trying to watch MacGyver, who are you talking to? I'm making a video for marriage guidance. What do you know about marriage? I know loads, sure aren't I married to you? I, know, I don't mind him, I know loads, he's messing, I know loads. Who are you talking to? There's no camera in here. Are you hallucinating again, Yeah. Are? are you on that ketamine? No! Yes. Well get in there and get me me tea. MacGyver's back on in three minutes. He's stuck in a nuclear submarine. All he has is a piece of chewing gum and a safety pin. <gasps> will he get out? I don't know. He will, he generally does, but just get me me tea. Thank you.